Hello, friends. It's time. Time once more for another strange installment of Sonic High School. I don't even know what to make of this one. Um, I can't say the name of this chapter in the first minute because YouTube won't allow that. Let's just say it involves uh, secret street walking, if you catch my drift. It's not a good name. Anyway, let's just read. Anyway, chapter 19. Here we go. It was now a new day of school, and Sonic went right to school. Sonic had Knuckles and Knuckles Jr. in his backpack, since he still had them after explaining what happened to Knuckles yesterday. Sonic scratched his balls along the way, and they were only getting worse. You look like spoiled meat, said Sonic to his balls. Sonic got to school, and the first thing he did was bring Charmy's dead head to the theater club, because that was Charmy's favorite thing, and Sonic thought that Charmy would like it if they used his face for a mask in the next play, now that he is dead. What? Then Sonic took the rest of Charmy's body and put it outside in a trash can, so no one would try to find it, and it could be safe and alone. Cool. Sonic went to his first class, and his second class, and even his third class, and else and went to lunch, where there were his friends. Hey guys, said Sonic to them. Hey Sonic, said Espio. I am back from the hospital. Where's Charmy and Victor? Well, they are dead. <laughs> cool, Sonic. Victor killed Charmy, and then we killed Victor, so they are now both dead. Victor was a bad guy, so we will not be in trouble. Yeah, said Tails. They will not come back to lunch anymore. I rescued Sonic and Knuckles Jr. Oh, that's right. Where are Knuckles? My baby with Rouge. And Knuckles Jr., said Espio to Sonic and Tails. They are right here. Here you go, said Sonic, and Sonic gave the two babies to Espio. What a relief. Sonic was tired of having to take care of two babies that were not even his. It is good that Sonic has the best morals in all of Hugh's school. Because other person pretty much would not have taken good care of them. Hey, ass butthole. <laughs> Said Shadow. It is my job to do crimes. Then Shadow laughed and high-fived Sonic for doing a good job. Sonic was the best. Please explain to Silver what happened. Said Sonic to Shadow. Okay, I will explain it to him. I wish he was in the same lunch period as us, but he is not said Shadow in an explaining way. I would not high-five Sonic, said Tails. His balls are full of poison and it's easily catchable. Tails! screamed Sonic. So it is true. You really do have a ball problem, said Espio. It is okay, Sonic. Other people have problems. And your balls are just like theirs. Okay, but this is different. And it's bad, and it's only getting more worse, said Sonic with a worrying voice. Whatever! It's almost summer, said Tails. That means high school is ending soon! Cool, cool. Yeah. yeah! Said everyone at the same time, because it was easier to do. Then everyone went to different classes. Tails went to his smart class that he was in with Cream, but Cream was standing outside of the class where Tails went to. Cream, you are standing outside of the class. Why? said Tails to Cream. Didn't you hear? Charmy is dead, and it relaxes me so much because now I do not have to break up with him. <laughs> Fucking classy. <laughs> we can become true boyfriend and girlfriend now, said Cream to Tails in the hallway outside. But we have class now, said Tails to Cream. Forget class, smarto, said Cream shoutingly. Cream pulled on Tails' hand until his whole body moved and brought him into a closet in the school. It was big enough inside for sex, is what Tails noticed. Cream locked the door and took off all of her clothing. Tails was so shocked, but he looked at her sexy body, and it looked like a beautiful naked man with a vagina. <laughs> okay. Cream took out her vagini and showed it to Tails, and he went nuts. <laughs> we got a problem over here. Tails going nuts. 
His penis got hard as a printer because her vagina looked like a cold cut platter. Uh, what? <laughs> whoa! Whoa! C cool vagina! <laughs> Sounded tails. Losing his cool way because he was nervous and excited to miss class and have sex with Cream for the first time. Tails took out all of his penis and balls, which were already ready, and jumped right into her invitation-only parts. <laughs> oh my god. Tails jumped up and down with his penis inside her, cheering like a boy teen and shaking his fists in the air like the Rocky movies, and Cream was happy because she was not a love expert, too. Cool. Tails' penis kept getting bigger, and Cream's vagina was already pretty much full of his penis. Make more room, we've got company! Screamed Tails, and then he was able to stick his balls into <laughs> under his penis. Tails fit so much genitals into Cream that it looked like they were an upside-down couch sofa in her vagina. <laughs> what? Tails shook all around like crazy, and Cream was slapping her hands and ears into the doors and cleaning supplies in the closet. Cream then was now trying to make him even more sex-powered by pulling on her boobs far enough to touch his face like two big melty gummy bears on her body. <laughs> what the fuck is this story? Eat from these, screamed Cream, and her voice was breaking like a talking toy that had one of its batteries halfway out, and my brother spilled juice on it, so it didn't work right anymore. Cool. Tails sucked on her boobies while his penis was still in her, and got all of the stuff out like he was eating yogurt only with his mouth, and it supercharged him with the sex. Ha! Huh, ready? yelled Tails to Cream, and before she could say a thing, Tails started waving his flying tails and flew up with his penis still in her and pointing his penis up, so she went up and was now stuck against the ceiling. I'm a bit... <laughs> I'm about to make my semen! <laughs> said Tails loud over the sound of his own tails we were making. Tails flew his tails even harder, and Cream got pushed into the metal ceiling so hard that it made a dent, and then Tails' penis shot a gallon of his own New England clam chowder <laughs> to her first time. <laughs> it got over full and spilled plenty on the ground, but not that both of them cared. Tails slowed down his tail speed, and his penis got smaller, and so did her vagina, and they were both out of breath. We are true boyfriend and girlfriend now, said Cream, and hugged Tails. Tails was so happy and shocked that he became true boyfriend and girlfriend before Sonic did with Amy. Cream put her clothing back on and left Tails to put his on too. He then looked at his penis and saw a golden ring on it. What is this? What is it doing here? A big gold ring, said Tails, and took off the bracelet of his penis. Why was this in Cream's vagina? <laughs> He thought. He thought about it, and because he was smart, remembered where he saw this thing. At the end of school, Tails ran to Sonic privately and said, Sonic! Sonic, look! What's that? said Sonic to Tails. A big gold ring. Cool. Let's sell it for cash. No! said Tails to Sonic. This is Amy's bracelet. I found it in Cream's vagina. <laughs> you know, as you do. <laughs> What? said Sonic to Tails. How did this get in there? He took the ring and had it. I can only think of one thing, said Tails to Tails. I do not mean to suggest this to you and say that she is being a bad girlfriend, but maybe Amy was giving Cream the hand sex. <laughs> what? No way! shouted Sonic to Tails. But that is the only thing that makes sense. Amy cheated on me. That loose woman. She she is a concubine and a bitch. <laughs> what is this? What, what, where do these words fucking come from? <laughs> Sonic got madder than Tails ever saw him get mad and ran off fast. Sonic did not know where he was running to. And to be real, he was not running anywhere. He was running in a really big circle around the town and crying and screaming because Amy cheating on him made him feel worse than anything. 
Sonic ran around for hours until all of his feelings were out, and he was tired from running and being sad and mad and feelings that are hard to say what they are. He stopped and said, There is only one thing that can make this situation better. I have to tell Amy that I know. Maybe she will say that she is sorry. Sonic went back to high school and over to the detention room. The security guard was standing outside, but Sonic used his sonic speed to run over and punch him so hard in the throat that it closed up for a while and he became unconscious. That's, that's how it's spelled. Sonic took a key from off of his keys thing and opened the door to the detention room and saw Amy and Rouge in the corner. Amy and Rouge were both sleeping and they looked really skinny and hungry. It made their boobs look bigger, but they also looked like steps from death. They had been in detention for days, and they had not eaten or drinking at all. Sonic looked at Amy and felt bad for her. It'd be so easy to have sex with her right now. Jesus, Sonic! Said Sonic behind his face, in his head, not out loud. We could become true boyfriend and girlfriend, and I could pretend like none of this did happen. Sonic thought about it a little. And it even gave his chubby blue penis a toss back and forth like a baseball in a sock. <laughs> well then. <laughs> oh my god. But no, we would not really be true. Not when she cheated on me. Sonic got ready to wake up Amy and show her the bracelet. That is the end of this chapter. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I just read. I don't know if I'll ever be the same. Thank you all for being here. If you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Uh, I have a Ko-Fi and a merch store. Please check those out. Um, I have a Discord too, and uh, a subreddit, r slash moonhorse stories. I, th I think I need to go lay down for a while. I don't think I'm right after this one. Thanks so much for being here, everybody. I love you all. Goodbye. <laughs>